Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the browser function, which will be helpful while writing the automation script. So following are the function which we are going to discuss. Opening a browser, closing the browser, maximizing the browser window, refresh and opening, opening the application URL inside the browser. So inside my Catalon Studio, under the test case, I'm going to add one more folder called browser function script. Now under this, I will add a test case. So first we are going to discuss this function through manual mode. Then in our next video, we are going to discuss the same function through script mode. So browser function. function description and I will use a keyword called browser for tagging so inside the keyword browser you go inside inside the browser you can see the functions are available close browser for closing open browser for opening refresh is there so from here I will click on add and add a web UI keyword. So open browser. After that, close browser. Now, when I launch this script, it will open the browser, then immediately close it. Now, in order to show that browser opening and closing, I'm going to add a delay in between these two steps. And that can be done with the help of a delay function, which will take the arguments as integer value which represent the number of second you want to delay so under the input column just double click and here supply the delay value as 5 second so I'm going to save this script and run this script in a edge Microsoft Edge So it has launched the Microsoft Edge. Wait for five seconds, then close the browser. Okay. So it is done. Now if you observe the console closely, you can see here, first it is starting the driver, which will launch the Microsoft Edge. Then it is opening the browser, delaying for five seconds and closing the browser. So that is the best part of Catalon Studio that you don't need to worry about the driver. It will automatically set up the driver for you for the corresponding browser. So the next function which we are going to discuss is maximize. So here after opening the browser there is a function called maximize. So this will maximize your browser window. Now this time I am going to launch this inside the Chrome browser. So again you don't need to worry about the Chrome driver. Catalon Studio will set up the Chrome driver for you. Oh, accidentally I used the wrong method. So it has launched the Chrome browser, maximize it, wait for 5 seconds and then close it. After that, the refresh and opening the URL function. So in order to open the any application URL inside the browser, there are two ways. First, you can supply the URL directly with the open browser method. So here, just double click on the input, it will launch a dialog which will represent that what type of parameter you're passing. So currently we are passing the string type parameter. So let me open this application URL and run it. So save it and run.
wait for five seconds and then close the browser okay the other way of opening a web page inside the browser is by using the navigate method so after the delay I will add one more step and here navigate to the URL again this method also takes the application URL as an argument so just double click on input provide the URL so let's say this time I'm going to open the Google web page save the script and run it inside the Firefox so first it will open the Firefox browser then maximize it with the Bugzilla web page and then delay for five seconds after that it will open the Google page inside it so this is the Firefox browser first open the Bugzilla page then wait for five seconds and then open the Google page and close the browser similarly in order to do a refresh there is a refresh method so I will add one more step refresh and after this also I will add a delay so you can see the refresh action so delay double click on the input delay for three seconds save it and run So it has launched the Chrome browser, open the Bugzilla application, then maximize it, wait for 5 seconds. After that it will open the Google URL and then perform the refresh and then close the browser. Okay, so let me put a delay over here also. So before refresh and after refresh, I'm putting a delay. So you can see the refresh action. and it just did a refresh and wait for three seconds then close the browser so these are the some common browser related function which we are going to use in our automation script and that's all for this video thanks for watching